Many accident and emergency departments are stretched under pressure, but are some now approaching crisis. ITV News has heard from senior doctors across the country. They spoke anonymously so they could speak more freely. There are many, many hospitals out there, perhaps 50, perhaps more. Those hospitals are really struggling to cope. Our department would have capacity to hold around 23 patients. We know at our busiest times we may have as many as 50 patients. For about 15 and from an expert so in emergency care, a short but frank assessment. I've been qualified 20 years. This is as bad as I've ever known it. Medway Maritime Hospital in Kent has been identified as one of the worst in England. So we spent about 18 to 20 hours waiting in A&E. Lucy Rothenberg's mother died here earlier this year. There is no evidence delays contributed to the death, but she says the whole experience was frustrating. I just felt like she wasn't important, and that is a horrible way to feel. When you feel like the consultant, surely a consultant can come down and see someone before two days. It's, it's terrible. According to the Prime Minister, 429,000 patients arrived at A&E departments across England last week. That's 3,000 more patients every day compared with four years ago when the Labour government were in power. Recent figures show a quarter of people can't get a GP appointment, so end up at A&E. That's nearly 6 million patients a year. The scale of the problems dominated Prime Minister's questions today, both leaders blaming each other. And across England, A&Es including Scunthorpe, Middlesbrough and Kings Lynn are telling patients not to turn up. Does this represent more than some isolated incidents but actually shows an NHS in England at breaking point? What we are doing is putting £700 million more into the NHS this year. Now, we're only able to do that because we have a strong and growing economy. These growing medical pressures are requiring a political, or more accurately, a financial solution. Many are now calling for more money urgently. Lewis Warnjo.